In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a plugin for Grasshopper that is called Launchbox. Uh, it's one of those plugins that uh, saves you a lot of time when you need to model some uneven surfaces and then you need to divide them in multiple uh, panels uh, in uh, different divisions. So this is, for example, uh, the types of divisions that you can get. So uh, well, I just wanted to quickly show you how, how you can do it. So uh, let's, let's start. We're going to create a simple T-spline uh, T-spline surface and let's extrude it as always here. A little bit here, a little bit here. And on the other two sides as well. Okay, now let's remove the creases and let's remove these outer edges. Okay, so now uh, let's just simply do a little bit of shaping like this. So let's say that this will be our, this will be our shape bring both of them up a little bit okay so this will be the surface that you want to divide let's convert it to a rhino surface and now let's multiply it two times uh, let's divide the window like this so that you can see the uh, the area where I'm gonna work so this viewport layout is quite useful here you can actually change the viewports based on uh, based on what kind of uh, divisions you want to have with the windows and you can even create your own here with the new view per button. But for now let's go with this one and I'm going to change this from top here set view to perspective. I'm going to change the view to shaded and now I'm going to open my grasshopper window and I'm going to actually resize it so it fits perfectly here this area okay so the first thing we want to do is we want to actually uh, create the uh, bring up the panels uh, options so we brought here uh, hexagon cells uh, we're going to bring normal panels and we're going to bring uh, these skewed panels it's actually called skewed quads here so all of them are a little bit different so we're going to insert surfaces here three surfaces uh, if you want to copy this element you just hold shift you move it down then you press alt so you don't need to type surface every time here so shift hold bring it down and then press alt and release like so so now, okay, so now let's add these surfaces. I'm gonna select this one, right click on this and set one surface. I'm gonna do this for both of them. Okay, for now I can hide them so I don't, uh, I don't uh, see them in the viewport because they're not transformed to grasshopper surfaces. And now let's, uh, Let's add a little bit of uh, variance. We're gonna have 15, 15 divisions. And here we're gonna have 20 divisions. So I'm gonna input this in both U and V. If you want to input this in both of them, you just drag it. Sometimes there is some components that you can input only in one, in one direction. So in that case, you need to hold shift while dragging. And then you'll see this plus sign. So for now, let's just go like this. And the default here, I think it's 10, but let's put it anyways. Okay, I just missed it and it became red, which means they're not compatible. So let's move them back. And now if you want, I, if I want to uh, undo this one, I need to hold control, press here and go back like this. And now let's put in V, okay. 
And now let's connect the surfaces to surfaces. See what happens. Now let's go to the second one. Panels and one more. Here. Okay. So <clears throat> now as you can see, there's this double, like a double um, surface here. That's because this surface is the same as this one. So we're gonna hide this one. Just right click and click preview and do the same for all of them. Okay, so the last one actually isn't isn't a surface, it's a collection of lines. Because you can see this if you input panel, we can see that it's all polyline curves. And here it's actually surfaces. So that's the difference. Uh, you can you can see that these are these are surfaces and these are lines line and untrimmed surface okay so let's go back just wanted to show you that one uh, so uh, if we want to create a simple piping in this case because there is two two, uh, two components uh, I mean two different types of panels uh, we want to actually merge them so we're gonna type command merge and we're gonna input them you can see the difference here. So these outer ones are on the bottom and the top ones are these ones that are like already uh, like more red. So let's put all of them in the same. And now let's use the construct, uh, the construct uh, brep so that we can just uh, extract the edges. We just need the edges in order to, to create the piping. So let's, let's type pipe. Let's type 0 0.1 for the radius. We go radius in the in this element here. And here I'm going to actually again preview this. Hide it, hide it. Uh, and I'm going to use edges here as a list into the curves. And I will see the piping. Here it is. Here's the piping. Um, we can actually increase it a little bit. Let's go to 0 0.3. Okay. It's more realistic like this. And we have our surface, the first one. Uh, we have the piping and we have these uh, elements. We can actually also use the surface as well if you want to have both as bo both of these elements active. So let's move on. So we finished the first one. The second one is pretty much the same as this one. So I'm gonna use Shift Alt to bring it down, and it will connect. It, it will remember the connection. So let's kill the connection. I'm holding Control, I'm going back in this one, and let's. Select the panels here. Since we don't, we just have one element of panels here. We don't need merge anymore. So let's just use it here. Okay, so here it is. There is some uh, some little bit uh, some some areas are going uh, further away, but uh, some pipes are going away. But we can fix this easily later on. So uh, we have these ones, and then the last ones. Okay, <clears throat> here's the second one and the last one. Uh, we just we just use the uh, the uh, the original surface. We can actually preview it here, and uh, let's use the piping again, and let's disconnect this one, and let's see what happens. Okay, here is the last surface, and now I just wanted to show you that, um, for example, these are the surfaces that we used. And uh, in case we want to actually change them, uh, let's say that, for example, I want to move this one down a little bit. Uh, when I move it here in Rhino, it will actually update the geometry that is connected to it. So all these pipes and all these uh, in information from the grasshopper here uh, will be updated and I will see the, the new look.
see so it actually changed geometry changed here and uh, let's just for the sake of it let's just uh, uh, change a little bit here also this element and let's move this guy down a little bit so as you can see the the pipes are updating so this is quite useful when you need to actually modify the geometry and you want to keep the divisions and uh, you don't need to actually depend on just one surface that is like fixed completely so you can ma manipulate it and change it later on but um, uh, any anyways this is uh, what I wanted to show you now we can actually just uh, let's bake this all three of them let's go one by one Uh, just to see the result. So here is the final geometry. Uh, and uh, this is the way that you can use a uh, launch box, a uh, launch box uh, for Grasshopper to create this kind of effect. Uh, so <clears throat> uh, let me know if you like this kind of um, tutorials or short tutorials for grasshopper and uh, if you found this useful please share with your uh, friends if you think that they will benefit from it and uh, see you in the next video